Well, it's a beautiful Saturday morning. It's a little bit nippy out this morning, but not bad. And this is our temporary pig pen for the two little piggies that we've got coming, one mama and one baby. Uh, so we got those coming here in a few minutes and uh, I'll be putting them in here and getting this pen set up where it'll temporarily hold them and then I'm gonna set up something a little bit nicer out there on the, uh, out in that area where they can graze because these are grazing pigs, they're American guinea hogs. And so whenever Junior gets here, Mr. Heath gets here with the, with the little piggies, we will, uh, I won't be able to film it, I don't guess, but um, I'm sure I'll be all hands on deck trying to get the pigs in here. So uh, anyway, we'll show you what we can. All right. Well, we got the little piggies in. Uh, I was gonna video uh, getting them out of the trailer, but um, <laughs> I forgot. So there they are. This is mama. She's a little overweight. We're gonna have to do something to get her on a diet. We'll get her fixed. This is her baby from uh, Quinn. But anyway, we gotta, they're just as happy as a little lark here in this little spot. It's kind of nice because it's shaded and got some vegetation there and they like to eat that. So it's a pretty good little place for our piggies. They're very content, looks like. Just happy as they can be. And that's how we want them. Well, here's our new homestead. Sherry and I decided to come down off the road, come out off the road and come to start a brand spanking new homestead. Oh yeah, we're crazy. Everybody thinks we're nuts. But when diesel prices got up to 520 a gallon, we went down to Padre Island. We went down to Padre Island Spent a little over a month there. Did a little bit of running around in the in the car, but primarily we just uh, sat for a little over a month in our spot there at the campground. And going down there and back, and that little bit of running around we did, we spent a thirteen hundred and sixty dollars on diesel. And I got to thinking, you know, that's one trip, $1,360. Of course, you don't always go that far on every trip. You're going shorter distances from one to the other. But every time I'd fill up a half a tank, it was $110. And I thought, okay, this takes the fun out of traveling. It takes a lot of the fun out of traveling. And so we decided, you know what, we're, and not only that, with the way the world's going right now, we thought, you know, why don't we go buy a couple acres or something somewhere and start growing food again so we're here to start growing food again we now have our little piggies you may have heard one grunt just now this is the big sow that we have and uh we got some chickens yesterday we got that's of course an extremely ugly naked neck or whatever they call them um but we had to take her with the other three but these are three layers we picked up yesterday. Really nice hens. Beautiful Orpingtons or line, wine dots or something. I'm not really sure what they are. Got the hutch because I had no time to build a hutch. So we picked this up. And uh, then we got rabbits, which we haven't had before previously. Uh, we decided we want, well, let's just say I decided I wanted rabbits. Sherry didn't really want me to get them. And really, it's kind of crazy because like last time, I bought all the animals and now we're building pens. Jiminy Cricket. Sometimes I wonder. But anyway, these are our beautiful little, I think they said they're Californians. I think they're really pretty. And so we're going to raise them for food. And then here's this one. There's three females. That's what we have. And she's already knocked her food over so I will straighten that up had a clingy fly on me I had to get rid of sorry so put her food back in there good so she won't knock it off and spill all of it out so now she's happier 
We had to move them over here in the shade. We had them right out here, right here, and they were in full sun, like where the chicken coop is. But fortunately, we can let the chickens out and let them do some scratching. But the rabbits, we couldn't let them out. So, well, they were burning up today. It's 96, I think, out there today. And so we're trying to uh, get our pens built now after we buy the animals. Is that not the dumbest thing you've ever heard of? But we do that. I do that almost every time. Sherry keeps saying, I think we need to build the pens first, but I always find good deals on the animals and we end up buying them and then we fix our pens. So we do things backwards. There's Matrix and Sherry, baby. Not on purpose. Hi. Hi. No, we don't do it on purpose. You do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Yeah, record in red. Uh oh. That won't work. Matt, look. I saw that. Here's our rabbits. We ended up. Yesterday we had to put this fencing around it. Of course it's temporary. We just put it up. To, we had a monster dog come in here. My goodness. The footprint, the paw print for that dog was massive. And you can tell where he really scraped up the front of the rabbit cage. Got mud all over it. There's a little bit of blood where I guess he clipped his toenail or something. Who knows? So we put this little fence up around it to keep him out and away from the rabbits. Makes it very inconvenient for us, but I'm just gonna pull it back and get it out of the way so we can take care of the rabbits. But that, and of course that's temporary housing for them. Uh, everything's pretty much temporary right at this point because we have uh, a lot to do. We put this gate in the other day and put in some hog panels back here so that the hogs could come back here they're American guinea hogs, if I haven't mentioned that previously. So they could come back here and have all this area here to roam around in. We've got three acres here, so there's plenty of room, but we put them about oh, 30 feet, 40 feet out and 106 feet wide so they could get out there and graze and do their thing. These two hogs have never grazed. Well, I say that the bigger one grazed for a small part of her life when she was with us before, but since when we sold her, when we sold our old homestead, since then she's been in just a little confined pen, kind of like this little area right here. Uh, and when they're confined like that, they, they begin to stink. So we don't want them stinking up the neighborhood. So that's why we opened up the pasture there for them a little bit. And she's wanting a drink, so I've got to go get her some water. So I'll be back in a little bit. So we are going to call it a night. We are exhausted. It's, I don't know what time it is, 8 o'clock, something like that, p.m. And we're tired. We've been, do, we've been here all day long working. And we're tuckered. So Junior's taking my T-Post driver because it's like for wimps. It's a itty-bitty wimp one. It's not heavy enough. It is for girls. I shouldn't say that. There's some nice girls that knows how to know how to anyway he's gonna wait it for me a little bit so that it'll actually knock those t-posts in so thank you junior you're welcome